This is question number five. In the first part for two marks, we need to show that one over one minus tan x minus one over one plus tan x can be written as tan two x. Let's just look at the double angle identity for tan. We can write now that tan two x can be written in the form two tan x over one minus tan squared x. So all I'm going to do is combine these fractions and simplify. So in the numerator, we'll have one lot of 1 plus tan x minus now one lot of 1 minus tan x. And that will all be over now the common denominator, which is simply the product of 1 minus tan x and 1 plus tan x. So all I'm going to do is multiply these out and tidy things up. So in the numerator, we'll have 1 plus tan x then we'll have minus 1, and then we'll have minus minus, which is plus tan x. In the denominator now, we're going to have 1 plus tan x minus tan x, and then we'll have minus tan squared x. Showing the terms that cancel from here, I'm going to have the 1s in the numerator cancel, so the 1 and the minus 1. In the denominator, plus tan x and minus tan x will go. That leaves me now 2 tan x over 1 minus tan squared x. So 2 tan x over 1 minus tan squared x. Okay, let's look at the next part of the question. This is the second section or second part for 5 marks. It says hence evaluate the integral from 1 12 pi or pi by 12 to 1 6 pi or pi by 6 of 1 over 1 minus tan x minus 1 over 1 plus tan x with respect to x given your answer in the form a multiplied by the natural log of b. So instead of writing this out, I'm simply going to write tan 2x. So we're looking at the integral from 1 12 pi, or pi by 12, to pi by 6, and we're going to have now tan 2x, and we're integrating with respect to x. Now we can use the standard result here, and I'm just going to show it down here. If we have now the integral of tan kx where k is a constant and we're integrating with respect to x this is going to give us now 1 over k then we'll have the natural log of sec kx plus a constant of integration that is a general result now you could write this as the integral of sine kx over cos kx and you would integrate with respect to x now what we have here is some multiple of the derivative of the denominator in the numerator. If we have now the integral of f dashed of x over f of x and we're integrating with respect to x, this gives us now the natural log of the modulus of f of x plus some constant. And again, you can introduce into that um, a constant here um, in terms of the, the end result. But essentially, we can use one of these. I think this is slightly less intuitive, especially if we've got this to hand. So I'm just going to use this result. So all I'm going to do is simply put that this will be equal to, and it's going to be one half the natural log now of sec 2x, and we're interested in this from pi by 12 or 1 12 pi uh, to 1 6 pi or pi by 6. So let's go ahead and sub this in. So if we do that, what we're going to have is one half. Now, the advantage if you'd gone the other way, if you'd integrated this way, is that you would have had cos. Um, sec shouldn't be a problem. All we're going to do is put now the natural log of sec of 2x. So that's going to be now sec of pi by 3. So if I sub in pi by 6, 2 lots of pi by 6 is pi by 3. Then we're going to subtract away from that the natural log of sec of pi by 6. So sec of pi by 6. So let's go ahead and do this and we can find these values. So we're going to get 1 half. Now if I think about this, the natural log of sec of pi by 3, cos of pi by 3 is going to give me 1 half. So I could say that this is going to be now the natural log of 2. So just writing this out, sec of pi by 3 is going to be 2. So this is going to be the natural log of 2. And then sec of pi by 6. Cos of pi by 6 is root 3 over 2. 
So this is going to be, and I'll write it like so, we're going to have this as now 2 over root 3. Now, we can do lots with this um, in terms of the way we write it. I'm just going to write it now as the following. And it's entirely up to you on how you want to split this up. I'm going to write it now as the natural log of 2 minus the natural log of the root of 3 in here. So if we've got a, a, a quotient here, it's a difference. So what we end up with, the, the natural log of 2 cancels. So we're just going to end up now with a minus minus, one half of the natural log of root 3. So that gives us it um, in exactly the form they want. They wanted it A multiplied by the natural log of B. So that's what we get. That's one way of doing it. Um, you could argue that you could write that now bringing the power down because what we have here is we've got one half the natural log of 3 to the half which of course could be written as let's bring the power down one quarter um, ln of 3 um, so that's another way that it could be written so it's it's not specifying that a um, and b have to, or have to be rational or integers or anything along those lines um, entirely up to you. So that's one way of doing it. As stated, that's a general result. The integral of tan kx dx is 1 over k, the natural log of set kx. Or you could have looked at it like this. Now, if you think about, if you'd gone this way, if we're looking at the integral of now sine 2x over cos 2x dx, we would end up now with minus 1 half the natural log of cos 2x. Um, we know that the uh, it, the integral of uh, cos, or the derivative, I should say, of cos x is going to be minus sine x. So we end up with this scenario. Now, if you just think about this, this is logic because what we've got here now is one half the natural log of sec x, and we've got this minus. If we bring the power up, this is essentially saying one half the natural log of one over cos 2x because it's the minus power which of course is sec 2x that would be the way i did it with a standard result but it's entirely up to you either way around any answer along these lines will get the full marks